stay true to me. I make sure I speak on real life stories and like I said, it's, it's reality. <laughs> I grew up on Clint Street in, in Kimberly Court Projects. And uh, nice dog would ask my mama, what? Why don't we stay on Kent Street, mama? She was like, don't worry about that. That ain't no words. You can do anything you want to do. You can be anybody you want to be. Kent ain't no such thing. And so that was hard for me to be believing that. And I stayed on Kent Street. In this world of crack, smoking hoes on their knees. I see them bleeding on the ground and I said a prayer. Please don't take My goal was to, I mean, to establish myself as a solo artist because I've never been a solo artist. I've always been a feature artist, rapping on somebody else's shit. People preaching, calling my phone. I got these dimes on my mind and I'm all in the zone. Cause when you broke, motherfucker, yes, you falling alone. Yeah. Hey! Yeah, Paul, right now. If you believe in something, I was always taught you gotta be. If you really truly believe in your heart and you about something, you gotta be willing to die for it. And that's the, that's the way I attack any situation, whether it be football, rapping, or whatever it may have been. I didn't cry because I was down on my luck. A damn thing to my name and I don't give a and fuck. Looked up, and like 2008, we made a um, New Year's resolution. He, he dropped out of law school and I stopped trapping. So when New Year's came, we were like, hey man, it's time to do it. We started doing shows and I was like, look man, I'm telling you man, I might get a deal by the end of the year, but of course he was being Pessimistic. <laughs> I was like, nah, man, not about to end up here. ugly. You see them thugging, they pushing buggers, collecting cans. If he could apply himself, he might be a better man. That's kind of hard because it's a liquor store on every corner. And you see people that don't know Atlanta, but just moved to Atlanta and ain't familiar with the way it really was or the way it really is, that I want to show them that it's more than nice condos, nice houses, and nice cars and strip clubs. So I kind of want to expose the people to the other side of Atlanta instead of just the side that you see on TV. You bring a camera crew, a video crew through the hood that you're not from, you don't know these people, and you just film. Or you driving past filming. Or you set up there for a day or two and film. That's, that's exploitation. You feel me? I'm just showing you my neighborhood.